Remembering Senator John McCain, it's our top story tonight. The long serving senator losing his battle to brain cancer. He was surrounded by his wife and family. The flag at the White House flying at half staff tonight. Officials also lowering the flag at the U.S. Capitol building. Senator McCain was 81 years old. And to everyone from friends and family to lawmakers on either side of the aisle, they're reacting. Roy Ramos is in the newsroom with a look back at McCain's remarkable life and legacy. Roy? And I want to go ahead and take you to live pictures from Sedona, Arizona, where the hearse carrying McCain's body is now being taken from that home to Phoenix, where he will be laid to rest. He was a real American hero who spent much of his life in public service and became one of the most distinctive figures in American politics. We have learned that he passed away with his family by his side at that home. The senator, husband and father passing away, but not before leaving behind a life legacy. John Sidney McCain III, a political maverick and Vietnam War hero with more than 35 years of public service, died Saturday at his home in Arizona. He was 81. McCain was born in a U.S. military base near the Panama Canal and grew up in northern Virginia. He was the middle child of three, the family of Navy admirals. He attended the Naval Academy and became a combat aviator, but in 1967 he was shot down, captured, and later tortured, spending five years in a North Vietnamese jail. You have to have faith uh, that your country and your countrymen are doing everything they can to bring you home as quickly as possible. The decorated war hero turning to politics as a second calling. He was a six-term Republican senator who ran for president twice. McCain gained an outsized influence by going against his own party and negotiating with Democrats even after facing a crushing defeat to Barack Obama in the 2008 presidential election. I'm not running for president to be somebody, but to do something. True to form, McCain didn't fade away. He turned his misfortune into the role of older Republican statesman, a party leader unwilling to bend to pressure. One of the senator's most dramatic acts of defiance is July 2017 no vote on the GOP skinny health care repeal. Already suffering from the aggressive brain cancer that would ultimately claim his life, he stretched out his right arm with a thumbs down in one of several failed attempts to dismantle Obamacare. The senator, who was married to Cindy McCain, raised four children, including an adopted daughter from Bangladesh. His wife reacting to her husband's death, tweeting out, My heart is broken. I am so lucky to have lived the adventure of loving this incredible man for 38 years. He passed the way he lived, on his own terms, surrounded by people he loved, in the place he loved best. McCain revealed a short time ago he'd chosen to discontinue medical treatment, sadly aware of its inevitable outcome. His daughter Megan saying he was a great fire who burned bright and we lived in his light and warmth for so long. We know that his flame lives on in each of us. President Donald Trump reacting to the devoted politician's death, tweeting out, My deepest sympathies and respect go out to the family of Senator John McCain. Our hearts and prayers are with you. And new tonight, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says he will introduce a resolution to rename the Senate's Russell office building after Senator McCain. McCain is survived by his wife Cindy and his seven children. In the newsroom, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. An incredible full life, Roy. Thank you. Reaction has been pouring in all night about the death of Senator John McCain. His colleague in the Senate, Senator Marco Rubio, releasing this statement, John McCain's sacrifices to his country are immeasurable. With his passing today, America has lost more than a leader and more than a senator. We've lost a true American hero. Senator Bill Nelson reacting on Twitter, writing, John McCain was my friend and one of my heroes. He devoted his life to duty, honor, and country. He shall always be a role model for me. U.S. Representative Ileana ross Leighton posted a picture of herself with McCain and wrote this, An American hero passed away, but his legacy will endure. A fighter through and through, Senator John McCain was a patriot and a true American hero. Dexter and I were proud to know him. And Florida Governor Rick Scott released a statement saying in part, John will always be a beacon of hope and perseverance for America. He was a true fighter and fought every day for this country. Lastly, former President and former First Lady Barack and Michelle Obama releasing a joint statement that reads, Few of us have been tested the way that John once was or required to know the kind of courage that he did, but all of us can aspire to the courage to put the greater good above our own. At John's best, he showed us what that means, and for that, we are all in his debt. Local 10 News has much more on the passing of Senator John McCain online. Go to local10.com and